As you know, Yahoo was the victim of criminal state-sponsored attacks on its systems, resulting in the theft of certain user information. We worked hard over the years to earn our users' trust. As CEO, these thefts occurred during my tenure, and I want to sincerely apologize to each and every one of our users. How did Yahoo fail to recognize that all three billion of its user accounts had been compromised, and why did it take more than three years to discover and to disclose the breach. Yahoo did not know of the intrusion. In 2013, we learned of the intrusion by files that were presented to us in November of 2016. To this day, we, as I understand it, still have not been able to identify the intrusion that led to that theft. Would you say it's less likely today that a breach occurs at your company than, it occurred, than the probability of it occurring before? This is my understanding. And what would be your reduction in that? What, what, what's the reduction in the probability? I don't have a specific number because we have a series of actions taking place today. I, I, I can say it today that we believe that it's better today than it was before. Do you believe that other companies in the similar business, the companies that have lots of data that would affect consumers if there was a breach, are they uh, as vulnerable to breaches as your companies are and have been? In response to the breach, we took significant steps, causing our users to reset their passwords, changing our encryption, changing the attack surface area of our systems, and the access that even internal employees had to those systems. So by, by all means, we did respond and change the level of, of and protection And therefore, that today, we're as a to customer users. of Yahoo's, I should feel how much better that my data is safe. I think it's difficult to quantify, but there's no question that, in my mind, that the users are better protected today because these breaches were detected and remediated for. For Verizon, for Yahoo, for Google, for other companies, if you screw up with your customers, there is a customer relationship that is frayed. But in the case of the credit reporting agencies, there is no volition on the side of the customers. And that's the foundational problem here, which is that there is no incentive on your side to do anything other than to charge us to solve the problem that you caused. There is no incentive on your side to spend the money that it would take to transform the company to actually treat us like customers. Because your customers are lenders. Your customers are not the people who got harmed through the breach. I think that the biggest incentive that we have is the stewardship that we have, the obligation that we have with the consumer to keep their data accurate and safe. I mean, you have an earnings call, I think, tomorrow or shortly, and you're going to report, presumably, that everything's fine or that things are starting to pick up, or maybe even, I don't know, maybe even that you made more profit than usual in the wake of this problem. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention, because people back home, and I don't mean just back home where I live, but back home where all of us live, cannot understand how the CEO of Equifax and the CEO of Yahoo walked away with $90 million and $27 million and possibly a quarter of a billion dollars in stocks. This is unfathomable to the average person.